Hi Chem Kids, welcome back to Chemistry 151. Uh, we're going to continue our discussion on nomenclature, this time about covalent compounds. This is Kara Tierney from Monroe Community College, and uh, let's just get right into it. Covalent compounds, what are they? Well, first we need to talk about what a binary compound is. So a binary compound, bi means two, right? So it's made up of two different elements. And then a covalent compound, also known as molecular compound, that's composed of only nonmetals. So if we combine those two terms, we get uh, what is called a binary covalent compound. That's a compound composed of two different nonmetals. And uh, that's what we're going to be naming today. So how do you name a binary covalent compound? This is pretty much the simplest way to name a compound. A lot of students love the covalent uh, system because it is so easy. Yay, something easy. So here's how we name it. First, you have uh, two names. So the first name, uh, the first word in your name uh, comes from the name of your first element. And then there's a prefix uh, that's attached to the front um, if you have more than one of that element. Uh, a prefix is used to describe how many of each type of atom are present. And we're going to get into the specifics of that next. The second word is based on the name of the second element. And remember in uh, ionic compounds, when we, uh, whenever we named um, a compound, the anion always got eyed at the end. That's going to be the same here. Even though there's no ions, the second uh, element always ends in "-ide". So like chlorine becomes chloride, fluorine becomes fluoride, nitrogen becomes nitride, something like that. You also put a prefix for that second element. So you're going to have two prefixes, one for each name, unless you have the first element which only has one. If you only have one of that first element, you don't use a prefix. Here's the prefixes that you need to know for my class. There are 10 prefixes. They will look very familiar from the prefixes we used in the hydrate naming system. Um, and also, a lot of these names are going to, a lot of these prefixes look very familiar from geometry class. So here's some notes and an idea of what these names look like. So our first substance is CO2, which is probably pretty familiar to you, which is carbon dioxide. So the carbon comes from the first element, and then the oxide comes from the second element, and the second element gets a prefix, which is this di right here. That comes from the fact that there are two oxygens. Carbon does not get a prefix because there is only one of the carbons. And remember, you don't put a prefix for the first element if there's only one. Another example is N2O, which is dinitrogen monoxide. Uh, the di comes from two nitrogens. And then for monoxide, if we were to write monoxide, what you would get is something that looks like this, which looks like Manuxide, which is just silly. So that's why we take out one of the O's and we just say monoxide. Our third example is another one that may look odd to you, and that is nitrogen triiodide. So nitrogen does not get a prefix, once again, because it's the first element and there's only one of them. And then Iodine gets the prefix tri because there's three of them. And notice you have two I's in a row. This is allowed. So what I want you to do right now is, based on those examples, I'd like you to try naming these four, uh, these four compounds. Uh, I want you to press pause on this video and try naming all four of them, and then I'll give you the answers. So please pause the video now. Here are the answers to problem example six. Did you get them right? If you got anything wrong and you're curious about why they're wrong, uh, please write down all of your questions to ask me. Let's try another one. Here's problem example seven. So here are the names of three different compounds. I would like you to write down their formulas. Please pause the video now and give it a whirl. Try to write down their formulas. 
Here are their formulas. Notice that A, nitrogen monoxide, is a very assertive little molecule. Yes, that's a bad joke, but I like it. Uh, so this is the end of this video, and we're going to move on to the next nomenclature uh, video in this series. So I will see you in class. Please write down any questions that you may have.